I'm gonna attempt to throw the biggest thing I've ever thrown blindfolded. Four pounds of clay. I'm John, I'm a ceramic artist. I cannot see anything. What is up guys, welcome to the studio. Today I want to talk through a project that we recently did. Uh, and it was kind of interesting. So I'm gonna show you guys the video of how we created this. So we were hired by Patreon. A few months ago they contacted me and said, would you, would you be okay with us sharing a video that you shared on your channel? And I said, yeah, that'd be great. And it really performed well on their channel or their page, whatever you wanna call it. So then they reached back out to me and said, hey, we will pay you to make a reel for our Instagram page. And so we had a meeting, a Zoom meeting about kind of coming up with ideas and I'll talk a little about that. But before we go into that, I'll show you the, the whole video. Here it is. I'm gonna to attempt to throw the biggest thing I've ever thrown blindfolded. Four pounds of clay. I'm John, I'm a ceramic artist. I cannot see anything. I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Start by centering the clay, which is coning up, coning down, making sure it's really centered. And then I pull up the walls here. So I try to get it really even thickness all throughout. And if I don't get all that clay up from the bottom, then it's not gonna dry evenly and it might even explode in the kiln. So doing this blindfolded was a little bit of a challenge. Okay, I'm gonna take the blindfold off just to see. All right, we can work with that. And then we wanted to add a little flair to the piece. So I had my wife carve the piece. And after we finished carving it, we let it dry. We load it into the kiln, it gets fired once. Then it comes out and we are ready to glaze it. So now we're glazing it in a glaze called winter wood and we load it back into the kiln. After 24 hours, this piece is completely done. We're ready to unload it, and it turned out beautiful. And it's even better with a candle in the dark. Thanks for watching. That was the reel that we made. Patreon posted it on their Instagram page and then it added me as a co-creator, a collaborator. So then it's up on my page as well. Uh, and it was a really fun project because Patreon is a fairly big company, and so for them to reach out to me and want to make a story or a reel for their page was pretty cool. They wanted me to come up with something that was kind of limiting. So like something that would, not just a normal piece that I would make. So they came up with the blindfolded thing, which I have done before in a other YouTube video, but they said, could you throw something blindfolded? So I said, yeah, sure. I'll try and throw the biggest thing I ever have thrown blindfolded. And so that was this vase. Uh, and then I just thought it would be fun to have my wife carve it, make it a little more interesting. Plus then you can see uh, how well my throwing was. Um, if it was thicker on the base, which I did trim it quite a bit. Anyway, it was very, very fun project. Thanks to Patreon uh, for commissioning me, paying me to make it. So for, I'm gonna try and sell this. I think at, when this video goes live on Sunday, uh, this will be live and it will be up for $500, which I know is the most expensive piece I've ever sold. I've never sold a piece that long. That, but it's one of a kind, it's carved. Both my wife and, and I have a lot of time into it. So we're gonna see what happens. So if you're interested in purchasing this, it will be available for sale. All right, and now I'm just gonna show you guys some extra footage that we didn't use in there. Before, but this is about four pounds of clay. I don't see anything. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and throw a big vase. Got my sponges. Water. Here we go. Okay, so I start by centering the clay, right. which is coning up, coning down, making sure it's really centered. And then I pull up the walls here. So I try to get it really even thickness all throughout. And if I don't get all that clay up from the bottom, then it's not gonna dry evenly and it might even explode in the kiln. All right, here we go. Gotta get all that clay up from the bottom. Well, I think it's going well so far. That's pretty tall, I think. All right, so I think what I have right now is a pretty straight shape. Maybe it tapers in a little bit, but now I'm gonna try and add a little bit of shape to it so that it's a little bit more interesting. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna take the blindfold off just to see. Ooh, all right, all right, we can work with that. So doing this blindfolded was a little bit of a challenge, but this piece actually turned out pretty good. Rory, you, Rory, you gotta back up, bud. I'll show you. And then we wanted to add a little flair to the piece, so I had my wife carve the piece. And after we finished carving it, we let it dry, we load it into the kiln, it gets fired once, then it comes out and we are ready to glaze it. So now we're glazing it in a glaze called winter wood. And we load it back into the kiln and then we'll get the results here afterwards. After 24 hours, this piece is completely done. We're ready to unload it and it turned out beautiful. And it's even better with a candle in the dark. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I have some big ideas coming for new videos in 2023. So stick around. We'll see you guys very soon.